Libra, welcome. Happy New Year. This is Jeff at Raise Your Vibration TV to bring you your weekly tarot reading for January 1st all the way to January 7th. So welcome, Libra. We're going to go over the energies that are available to you. We're going to see what's challenging us, what is in store for us, what can we look forward to, what do we need to look out for, and how can we better navigate the energy of this week. So without further ado, the cards seem ready. Okay, angels, guides, and spirits, let's do this for Libra, please. Wow. Just like that. Okay. Um, wow. All right, Libra, the cards are ready. We've got the Hermit, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Fool, and the Magician. All right, this is no bullshit here. Three major cards, three minors. Two are Aces. I mean, two are Cups. Um, we've got a new beginning in love here. Let's just start right from the beginning. At the beginning of the week, the hermit is asking you to seek that inner wisdom. What do you want? This is a new beginning for you. And the three of wands is you've been waiting for this moment. There's a build up here, Libra. Everything seems to be aligning. You know what I mean? This always says that your ship is coming in and you have to have that inner knowing. There's going to be a lot of inner knowing and reflection going on at the beginning of the week. But this is a new beginning in love for yourself. Love yourself first. And when you love yourself first, the offer comes in. There's some kind of offer being made here. The fool is take that risk, take that step. But don't be the fool. Know what you're stepping into. She's so high on life and holding that beautiful amethyst crystal that she ain't looking over the edge there. You know what I'm saying? And she's got to know what she's in store for. But this says to take a risk. Yes, it's scary. But this whole energy of this reading here is the magician. And the magician is here to tell you that you create your reality. And I think you're starting to realize that. And I think you're going to take that leap to go ahead and start to manifest in 2024. That is going to produce some big results here. Now. Let's clarify. Let's see what else is added to the story for the week. This is major move. Go within and the answers will be there. It's been, you've been waiting for this moment. I, I got to keep saying that you've been waiting for this moment and the moment is now, but it involves you taking the risk, paying attention to the signs. And if you're vibing right with it, it'll come to you. Libra. It really will. So let's get some more clarifiers for Libra. Let's see what else. Oof. What else is in the mix? All right. I think I got to, yep, I got to get that card across the room. Hold on a second, Libra. All right. Well, we got the hermit clarified. So this is definitely a time to go within. This is a time to go within. Wow. Page of cups to the knight of cups. All right. We're going to make sense of this. Look at that hermit clarifying the hermit. The nine of wands. The seven, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. <laughs> know your room and numerals, numerals, kids. And uh, we have the star and the wheel of fortune. Listen, y'all, listen. One, two, three. These four cards right here are telling you that the universe has your back. If there is a risk that you need to take, fucking take it. Make the move. Divine timing is at work here. Pay attention to the offers that are being made to you. Now, let's talk about these two right here. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, what the Nine of Wands shows is uh, I'm, I'm exhausted, man. I, I, I'm battle weary. I got to put up my barriers. I got to protect myself. 
But you have to put in the hard work to let your barriers down in order for these opportunities to come through. And you will find that reflecting on the past and looking towards your future this week and really deciding what you want and letting the universe bring it to you by getting out of the way, Libra. Okay? There's offers coming in. Now, let's get, oop, let's try the Psychic Tarot and see what they got to say. Some oracles, please, for our lovely Libras. Trusting your intuition, using that hermit wisdom. Intuition and wisdom will always, always, always bring you the results you desire. You got movements, choices, and decisions to make. So rest up. Rejoice in celebration. You're goddamn right. With those four cards right there, I mean, take a look at that. Take a screenshot of that because that is the beginning of a wonderful year. Let's get some. Damn. Card went flying right in the same spot. Oh, it bounced back. Cool. Thank you, universe. All right. Yes, there is definitely, there's caution here. There's a caution here, and it has to do with space. You need space. It is really telling you, Libra, that you need to kind of be in hermit mode for a while. And that's when the light bulb goes off. Oh, that's right. I need to take care of myself first. I'm going to decide to work on my creativity. Because don't forget, Libra, you're very creative. Find those creative outlets. And focus on abundance for this week because this looks beautiful. This go get a lottery ticket. I really, you know, I don't believe in the lottery, but if you are at, say, like you're at a gas station, okay, and you just happen to look over and you're looking at the scratch off tickets, and one of those is just calling out to you, get one, okay, and share your winnings with me. No, I, I wish you much luck, but I mean, that is, mm hmm. Now, let's see what love's about, because the whole crux of this reading is that eight of that Ace of Cups. And the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups is showing us that an offer is being made here. It looks like you're manifesting something. Let's see. What do we got for love for Libra? Ooh. <laughs> Wow, you got the strength card too. Excellent. Okay, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But first of all, we got the seven of pentacles. Yes, putting in the work into your relationships will not make you weary. You got to put in the work. The eight, the eight of pentacles is telling us to put in the work also. But this is the seven of, of pentacles looking at, uh, you know, it could be also admiring the work. Things are changing here. Now, strength. Now, if you watch that little numerology video, I'll put it up here for you. Eight minutes, okay. Um, yeah, the 2024 is all about the number eight. And in Tarot, it's strength. It's the Leo card. And you need that Leo energy, that inner strength that you get from your intuition and your wisdom. And that's what's going to come out of this is you're going to be pulling more strength Two, again, three of wands is, pay attention to three, three, three. Three of wands is confirmed here. This is something you've been waiting for. It's time, that you're going to see the time. A lot of you are going to be creative doing a lot of your things, but look at this. And love, look at this relationship moving in. I'm telling you, something is at work here with the two of cups, the ace, the two, and the ten. Ten. I mean, come on, guys. This is a beautiful... If singles out there, Libra, if you're single, honey, you ain't going to be for too long. You are allowing a beautiful energy into your life. I see relationships that are already in bloom really leveling up and making the decision to stick it out. Maybe some of you Libras are short-term lovers, you know, but this is a whole new ball game that's happening here, Libra. And it's beautiful. And you should be proud of yourself. Because that is beautiful energy. That is beautiful love energy. Let's get some messages of love. Let's see what they got to say for Libra. Okay. 
First one is unplug. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. You need some space. Give yourself some vacation time if you can. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. That right there is confirmation for you guys. If you have been holding on and working on a relationship or manifesting one, patience. The universe is telling you there's some divine timing here. In the meantime, play hard. Libra, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other because that's a great union right there. So just enjoy this time. It's a very abundant, it's it's beautiful energy. It's, it's launching a new year energy. And Libra, you're all about it. So stick to it. That creativity, I mean, you're going to come up with some great ideas. Oh, that card popped out. Yep. This is your ending message. Libra, receive. You're being asked to open to receiving universal gifts. This could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them. That is the whole thing. When you unplug, when you get some downtime, it gives you a little bit of perspective when you're alone, you know, and it may, and it helps you align to the energy that you need because if it's not coming into your life, you are resisting it in some way. And I think this week you work on that and then you're open to receive and celebrating big time. So congratulations in advance, Libra. This is incredible to start 2024 off. And I'm so happy for you because I love you all. All right. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for this week. And I will see you, Libra, next week.